This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. I don't know how I feel about this music. It's good. It's mysterious. Like, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know how I feel about it. It seems meant to inspire uncertainty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Hi, everyone. We're talking to Katrina. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can get in good with her, cause you know, get in good. She's mysterious. She's uh, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, attract know. attractiveness she's, is uh, in the eye of the beholder. But to to me, she's she's pretty. Uh, you know, she's 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 pretty hot. Her last she's line got about the look. We, we told her all about her life, and she said, That's so interesting. I love hearing about your adventures. That line oh, was so generic, I think she might be the front half of a big spider. <laughs> <laughs> and I think she might just say that all the time, and we're just hearing what we want to hear. It is a bit of a red flag that she is interested in our story. Yes, that is. Yeah, but also that instead of, <laughs> instead of commenting on any of the specifics, she said, That's so interesting. I love hearing about your story. <laughs> And I feel like that's the sort of thing a creature would learn if it was parroting human <laughs> speech through trial and error. Just walk yeah. out to people, that's so interesting. I'd love to hear about your stories. <laughs> oh, I'll go on then. <laughs> I, um, it, it's like... also the kind of thing that someone would say when they weren't actually paying attention. Yeah, no specific <laughs> comments. I see no follow-up questions, huh? I'm I'm getting through the whole like elementals in Shapir, and I'm talking about the foot race with the Simbani village and beating Yasufu at stones and homes over and over again. And she's just sitting here like texting on her uh, medieval iPhone. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, yeah that's curious great. about that time I sort of married a leopard lady. No questions about that. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I married a I married a cat woman. <laughs> I, I great. bought her no. with zebra skins. <laughs> Not curious about how wizard chess works, huh? No, all right. Well, you know, I beat someone in wizard chess once. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, uh, I'm, no, I once met... taught me a spell that blinds people for it. <laughs> I once met a hermit. He was just he was naked. He only had a beard, and his ass was just hanging out all the time. I stayed at his place like. More than one night. The smell. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. The smell, the smell was real was, bad. It was opaque. You could see it. It was, <laughs> it was a miasma. <laughs> you could cut oh, it into Jesus. bricks and build a house. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, there's a little there was a little kobold once. He looked like he hadn't eaten in a while. Fucking killed him. That was That's great. That's so interesting. I love hearing about your adventures. <laughs> killed him for a key. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I'm, I'm just imagining the uh, the hero here as not being particularly... Like, he's great at murdering things. Not so much of a storyteller. Yeah. You know? I still think she's the glowing antenna of a larger angler fish <laughs> that's going to eat us. <laughs> You it's know, not, he just talks like a four-year-old trying to explain Pokemon to you, you know? It's like, <laughs> oh, it's I like... went to this town, it was called <laughs> Shapir, and there were people there, and they had some problems. And the Baron, his son was a bear, and his uh, daughter, she was uh, a bandit leader, and there were bandits, and there were also thieves. And There was this uh, six-legged lion, kill... and he never stopped fucking his wife. And... <laughs> <laughs> He said he, everybody said he was a hero, but he never did anything heroic. <laughs> not the whole time I knew him. Not and the even most once. useful guy was this monkey whose name was Manu, and I think that Manu might have been into me a little bit, but Manu was a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 right. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. The, yeah, the one who lives just down the road. Yeah, I know her. I know her. I sent her here. That was me who did that. Uh. <laughs> That's so interesting. Uh, I love to hear about your stories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's flirt with her. I don't care. Uh, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> oh, you will make me blush if you keep speaking like that. 
But I really don't want you to stop. Just don't know specifics. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Whatever. Oh, oh. My name is Katrina. Remember? Yeah, I know. I oh. mostly just work in the castle. That's why I can't see you during the day. Someone might notice. Also, you're a vampire. Oh. You're clearly a vampire, is why. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. No, the, well, I, like I'm into it. You don't have to be cagey about it. <laughs> I'm afraid my parents will get very angry if they know I've met you. Oh, really, I'm not supposed to be out at the castle grounds. Yeah? We, uh, your dad's a vampire. We know. Just t We're into it. It's fine. You, Just is tell your him. Dad, yeah, is your dad like the the dark master or whatever he's called? Because I'm... Hey, I'm into it. Magic is very useful for survival in Mordavia. Use it wisely and carefully. Okay, cool. But that what uh, I'm asking about your dad. How come it's not an option here? I, I must go. Maybe maybe we can meet again. It, it's too dangerous for me to come here again. It's so far from the castle. Maybe maybe we could meet by the castle gate some evening. I'll watch for you there. Please don't mention me to the gatekeeper. I'll get in trouble if anyone finds out I sneak out of the castle. That ship has they, sailed. They think it's too dangerous outside the gate, <laughs> but I need to get out to, to see you again. Ah, sweetheart, I've been telling everybody about you. You watch her walk off before you think of doing anything else. Notice that she is shaped like a spider from the back. <laughs> <laughs> you try not to notice the the vast and many-legged creature crashing through the undergrowth behind her, connected by a tether to her <laughs> spine. I don't even care. Don't even care. Sometimes, when you find the one, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's nothing that a healthy... There's, there's nothing that a, that a, you know, a happy couple in a strong relationship can't work their way through. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just spider things. Hashtag just spider things. Yeah. Whoa! Case in point. Challenge. It comes in the form of two slavering necrotors. Oh man, I love a good necrotor. Oh, you did come. I was beginning to think I would never see you again. It's been like two minutes. It is so dangerous to wander in Mordavia. I was quite frightened for you. <laughs> Just the roaring of the necrotors in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the that was the anglerfish half. <laughs> that was just her. <laughs> that was the heaving bulk of the anglerfish spider that she's attached to. Katrina, did you know those necrotors can throw their voices? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I knew about that. That is exactly what just happened. That is is that is totally what happened. Yeah. I'm starting to be scared out here by myself. I'm so glad You're not here by yourself. There's necrotors. Okay, <laughs> look, look at them. They're right there. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Usually, it's the other way around. You are very attractive, after all. Are you flirting? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sometimes I can show you some spells you will never find at WIT. Oh, she knows about WIT. Interesting. Yeah, no, she's a keeper. Don't care what she is. <laughs> mm, it is rather warm tonight, isn't it? Must <laughs> You will excuse the fact I'm not wearing it. I know it is not proper, but I did not think you would mind. She's laying it on pretty thick. Oh, I would love to kiss you, but I do not think I will just yet. You are far too... <laughs> 
<laughs> you are far too. <laughs> could you could you tell your spider anglerfish have to be a little quiet? It's hard to hear. <laughs> Look, I know what's going on here, and I don't care. Can I Can make that talk? any more clear? Can you talk through your human mouth instead of your cavernous mob of teeth behind you? I will be waiting to see you here. Three nights? Katrina walks off into the forest to the west and is quickly gone from sight. Hey, hey Necrotaurus, what can you tell me about her? <laughs> All right. Uh, so a while ago, this was horror month. Joseph, Dav Joseph Davies commented on my uh, Pluto rant. Um, Indeed. Near the end of horror month, I went on a bit of a, a rant about Pluto not being a planet because, you know, we invented language and words mean whatever we say they do. So it's weird to decide that Pluto's not a planet anymore. Um, Joseph Davies commented very rightly that, like, you know, language evolves. I'm paraphrasing him slightly, but... As our understanding of the universe deepens, we need to refine and update language. Otherwise, you know, the I compared uh, words to sort of lights in the infinitely divisible darkness that help us navigate our way around. And if we don't update those, we'll just kind of stay lost. It's a really good point. Um, he highlighted, for instance, that Pluto is now a dwarf planet, and we have many different subcategories of animal. And it's a really good point, right? Uh, I also think that the category of dwarf planet is really useful because... There are other celestial bodies of similar size to Pluto that have never been planets before, and making them all dwarf planets is a good sort of honorific um, to give Pluto, and a good category to put similar bodies in. Um, is Ganymede considered a dwarf planet? Because I know it's bigger than Pluto, despite the fact that it's a moon of Jupiter. Uh, I don't know. I think moon is a separate designation because it's orbiting Just, a larger uh, body. Uh, yeah, okay, man, that makes sense. Sorry, go on. I was just I'm, I'm, curious. I'm not positive, though. Um, and, like, I, uh, there's some argument that uh, Charon, uh, Pluto's moon, is mm -hmm. also uh, considered a dwarf planet, though it is orbiting just a slightly, slightly larger entity. Orbiting so, yeah. one another as they orbit the sun. Yeah, which is, you know, very sweet. Little pair of dwarf planets trying to keep their orbit clear. <laughs> uh, the thing that irked me about the planet thing is... Even though it's a dwarf planet, which should be a type of planet, Pluto's not really included in the list anymore, even though it's got some legacy to it. I'd love to see it still in the list of planets, even if there's a little asterisk beside it. Um, the thing I often compare it to is when we... Uh, the discovery of the atom was kind of a longer search for the indivisible thing, the smallest element of something when you can't smash something farther. Uh, it comes from the, word, uh, the words atom or indivisible. Um, yeah. But eventually we discovered we could... Yeah, eventually we discovered we could split the atom, but we didn't rename it, and we didn't call any of its subcomponents the new atom. So that was one of the things that irked me about Pluto, is that we don't do that with all words, right? We just sort of did it with planet. Uh, but anyway, I emphatically agree with Joseph Davies' point. Language has to evolve. You can't get too stuck on words either. Even though we did make up their original meetings, sometimes those meetings need to change. And it was a really good point, and I didn't want it to wait another year to get addressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for uh, thank you for addressing that. Yeah, we, we kind of saved that for when uh, when you were here, but uh, um, excellent point. Um, still, hashtag my Pluto still a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarves are people too. <laughs> <laughs> there is one for whom I weep. Good she intro. She lies in her watery grave, her heart broken by a lover untrue. Nice to see you, you again too, buddy. With Thanks. The on how to free her spirit. Right, gotta talk to the gypsies. That's good intel. and heal her sorrow. Thanks, Peter. Have a good one. Thanks, bud. The massive gate to this town is securely barred to protect it from things that go bump in the night. You cannot leave the town this way. Sure, I can. <laughs> oh, like, you know. Easily, in fact. Yeah. I have multiple options. I could also cast Levitate if I didn't feel like exerting any physical strength. Um, but yeah, no. Tonight, tonight we hunt wraiths. Um, but we might be out of time to do it for now. 
I mean, who knows? Because our other episode was so goddamn long. It was like 20 some odd minutes. Yeah, close to half an hour. Uh, Close to half an hour. Who knows? But hey, that's fine. We could have a little extra short if one if you need it. Hey, we addressed the Pluto thing, you know? That was that was that was a thing. Yeah. I know you were all just dying to hear my take on that. I was. I was. <laughs> I was referring to our viewers at home. Oh yeah, just, that, that was, when's Alex yeah, going to address sure. it? Is he angry? Are he and Joseph Davies still friends? <laughs> friends. Ooh, harsh shots Ooh. fired. <laughs> Not a dwarf planet. Not a dwarf yeah. planet. Not a dwarf planet. I agreed. Agreed. I as part of me admittedly was hoping you'd wait a whole year that you'd hit on you just hold on to that for a whole year. Well, sit on it a whole year and then just agree, like oh, good point that you made a year ago. <laughs> that's 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 what I was hoping would happen. Just for fun, but it's too it's too much. We'll forget. We can't for, we can't remember anything. My brain's not going to work like a year from now for that. I don't, I don't remember anything. I don't remember what happened yesterday. No, once or twice now, the guys have had to summon me 15 minutes into a recording because I was just, I had managed to forget since Luke's thoughtful reminder an hour earlier. (laughs) This is what I'm saying. We can't, we can't hold on to this for a year. It's fine. Uh, It was great. Thanks, everybody. I know I said we talked about the MDCU, but we just had nothing else to say. Uh, oh, give me... I'm sure we have much more to say, but with, I know with... that uh, I, I wanted to spare Alex the uh, the physical pain uh, for one <laughs> week before we got back into it because I have <clears throat> things to say. But uh, we'll wait. Like like we... like Kirk, Colonel Sanders is the Nick Fury of this whole operation. Yeah, I. Oh, agree. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little research. I'm gonna you know. Um, we, I think out. I think we need to regroup and figure out what properties could conceivably be yeah, in there as get, a matchup. Get that brand, uh, get that brand thing put together. We can even have a uh, you know um, a PepsiCo Justice League versus the uh, the MDCU. Yeah, I think I think that's important. We just need to figure out which parent company is which. Because if we're going to do this, I want to be realistic about it. <laughs> Well, we know we got Wendy's and the Taco Bell dog, Chihuahua for uh, for the PepsiCo. So we've already got like you know our Batman and Superman. So wasn't yeah. there a set of commercials that involved a big team up there with the Taco Bell dog? Oh God, there may have been. Yeah, like teaming up with other restaurant mascots. I think there was a commercial <laughs> series about that. There's 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 dirt there. We should dig that up. And Absolutely. do we just do we just stick with uh, uh, fast food or? Do we start getting into the to the uh, we'll, we'll have to see what's serial cinematic us, yeah. universe. If we oh, get God, too yeah. far up the line, everything's owned by like four companies. Uh, owns so General Mills, yeah, that's a good question. You know. Uh, also, uh, to the earlier question, I think we could maybe spin Mayor McCheese into the Iron Man of the group. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. he's probably got resources and connections. He's a mayor. Or the uh, mayor. that that police constable who is also a hamburger. I'm trying yes. to remember their name, but yeah, who who knows? Who knows? <laughs> somebody, somebody watching this right now angrily that I can't remember yeah, their favorite and, MDCU look, character. And anybody who knows what that what that uh, old style police officer hamburger the, is name is also going to know on some level. That the w- Professor Xavier of the NBCU. <laughs> yeah, but even if they know their name, they're going to understand that we don't. They're going to understand why. It's not... It's, uh, yeah, they're going to know, right? The, the fact that we know Mayor McCheese is a big deal. This, this character hasn't been seen in fucking decades. You Except, know? you know, in, in large plastic analog form. Uh, McDonald's got kind of adult in recent decades. Like, it used to be so sort of, like, colorful and weird inside, and lately it's been sort of more, like, pristine, like a coffee shop. More grounded in reality. Oh, well, yeah, the stores as well, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they don't Um, even, there's almost no trace of those guys anymore. They really distance themselves from the cartoon mascots and, like, the, like, cartoony-looking plastic stuff inside. It's kind of, uh, (laughs) they backed off a bit We will never let them forget no. Well, hey, this is their call, you know? Circle back. There's, there's okay. uh, get the MDCU off the ground. <laughs> get the uh, nice. Yeah, why not? There's a, there's a pirate, there's a professor. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole thing. So we'll we'll get you know. We're never gonna forget Officer Big Mac. Fucking nice. Officer Big there Mac. There it is, Officer Big Mac. He wasn't wasn't just any hamburger. He was similar he to Mayor McCheese in that Mac. he had a large Big Mac for a head. Except he was the chief of police and as they such might, wore they, a constable uniform. They might want to save him for sort of the MDCU affiliated television shows. Like Netflix is <laughs> Daredevil, you know? So yeah. your street level TV hero more than your big budget movie hero? Yeah. The professor. Let's okay. figure out who our Deadpool is, too. Yeah. The Happy Meal. Oh, the, the McNugget Buddies. The little chicken McNugget guys. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right, everybody. All right. Uh, we well, you know, see you in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Be good to Excelsior. one another. Excelsior. <laughs> Uh, bye. Bye. Popular pages. McDonald's characters. Grimace. <laughs> McGangbang. <laughs>